Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a match in my Gaza Sea. I finally got the damn thing. I really took my time on it because I really burnt myself out when I was doing the gun tank too. Uh, I burnt myself out doing the game. So, I took my time with the Gaza Sea. Uh, it's definitely middle of the road in terms of performance and it's not as, as bad as everybody likes to think it is. Um, I like it. For what it is, I think it's pretty fun. I'm still trying to get used to the whole transformation uh, combo because I'm not, as, a, as you guys know, I'm not good with transformation mobile suits. But hot damn, does this thing's firepower really make up for its middling stats in pretty much any other category? Um, I like it. Like I really like the way the suit plays because it play it kind of suits my style or staying away it's kind of like staying away from people and just packing them from long range um so yeah it's not as bad as a lot of people think it is i like it uh not a, I, I really don't understand why everybody has it in Hamon's Hamon khan's colors i haven't seen one that isn't in Hamon khan's colors and that really annoys the fuck out of me <coughs> but otherwise this suit's pretty fun i like it uh, this was yesterday just doing dailies, and <coughs> we pretty much filled up the room on uh, our side. And, uh, but yeah, no, I, I like the way it plays. Uh, the beam saber, for whatever fucking reason, hits ridiculously hard. Like, even though it has almost no melee range, I mean, melee mod on it, it hits really fucking hard. I'm just like, what? But, uh, honestly, a lot of people bitch, they're like, oh, it can't defend itself. If you're getting close enough to where you have to defend yourself, that's your problem. It's not meant to get close. It really isn't. You're, you want to stay mid-range with it. The only time you should be getting closer to your target is if you're in this transform state to use those beam guns. That's the only reason you should be getting close. Otherwise, it's really good at keeping at range. I have mine with more... Th uh, Ge the generators on it so I can really pump out that range damage. Look at that crisp fucking damage. That's really good. I don't mind that it overheats in one uh, one shot because you're doing a metric fuck ton of damage. You really are. It's, it's crazy. And if you're able to stun them while they're not paying attention to you with that rifle and then transform into the beam guns, you're going to pretty much demolish most of their health. So, um... Yeah, play it at mid-range. I don't see, like, I don't understand why pe I keep seeing people dash into the middle of the, the enemy team when they do uh, use this suit. Um, and it happens all the fucking time, and I don't understand why. Like, that's not the way this suit should be used. Is You should not be jumping into the enemy team with this suit. This is not how this suit really uh, is not supposed to work. Here, Here's me just trying to... Me just being stupid. I really wanted to hit him. I don't know if I did or not. But uh, I really like this suit. It's fun. Uh, can't wait to see how they implement the Gaza D. I wonder how that's going to play. Um, and then you got like the ultimate form of the Gaza series in the form of the uh, Gawal Gawurm. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I'm not too sure. Gawurm. Mm, let me see. Well, I guess I can just go over here and look at it. Uh, Gazwam. Gazum. Z-O-W-M-N. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't know how. That's like the final version of the uh, the Gaza series. And uh, I kind of wait, can't wait to get that one because that one looks like it's going to be some massive fun. Uh, well, it's like, I, I just don't understand why everybody likes to get up close and personal with this damn thing. It, it, it really makes no sense to me. Um, the only change I would make to it personally is uh, I wish it had the ability to go to the half transformation state. So I can use those beam guns in a uh, stationary mode to provide firepower. And... Uh, that would definitely be helpful on ground, I think. Like, you could be nesting next to your support and hose any raid that comes your way. I, would, I, I wouldn't mind if it was in mobile. 
uh, if it couldn't move well in that form, but be able to um, use your firepower to really like hose targets. I think that would be a fantastic uh, use for that half transformation state. But uh, yeah. I got, I got distracted because it's still strong. It's coming to flood out there. Like earlier, it fucking... It thundered and lightning struck something. Blew out the power pole. And uh, they had to come out and fix it. Well, they rerouted it. They're fixing it now. Because we're part of a... I'm in an apartment complex. They just took... Uh, rerouted some of the lines to us. And now I got power back, so... I don't know, that was pretty rowdy. Finn didn't, uh, Finn sure as hell didn't like that little experience because he, he fucking hightailed to the bedroom because that shit was right on top of us. And that freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> and I'm sitting here jamming out to fucking music, hanging out in the Discord, and the fucking that happened. That was pretty interesting. So, uh, by the way, this is my first match in it, and, like, I like it. This thing's fun. I haven't used it on ground yet. But, uh, oh, fuck, I'm tired. See, man, I don't know why, but, like, I don't know if, like, heart attacks do that to you or something, just make you perpetually tired or something, but, damn. And I'm also, like, today, like, yesterday, I didn't eat at all, but today, I can't, like, I'm tired and hungry all at the same time, and I don't know why. <laughs> that was a nice kill. But, yeah, no, this is a very fun suit. I always enjoyed, like, the Gaza's design, because it's just a construction bot that Xeon's like, you know what, we really need a frontline mobile suit. So let's take, like, the hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of the construction bots that we're currently looking at and make them into uh, mobile suits, and that's what they did. And, uh, I mean, war breeds... Innovation and that that's sure as hell innovative right there. Look at this snipe. Watch this guy. You see him? Yeah. No. Fuck him. Look at that. Fucking sick ass snipe. Man, I like this suit. The firepower is great. But uh Yeah, um I hope you guys are getting all the suits. Last night I got the Gallus J, which I took into practice mode. That is definitely not my playstyle because that really involves you getting up close and personal with that damn thing. And I didn't, I'm just not a fan of the that play style, really. But, uh, unless it's the Gundam Hammer. <sighs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun in this match. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's decent for its play style. I haven't got, I haven't seen its counter yet, so I don't know what it's like. It's what I was trying to do. But, uh, yeah, like... Play it mid-range. Don't play it close range for everybody who seems to like to play this thing at close range. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the Patreons. We have Brandon Markey, Oe Shipper, Azrael, Kane and Mikey, Casey, Cybaster, Dragon, Spartan 90, Gundam Nuggers, Ibram Gaunt, 8863, Jeff Dunn, JJ, Clav, Maverick, Momica, Ninja Guy, 12, Peter, Strike, Tyler, Spud, Oni Savage, Shooter Souls, Trailers, Joseph D, Ali Mo, Steel Talent, and Bad Logic. I want to thank you guys uh, for everything. It means a lot, and I shall talk to you guys later.